Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to anyone who's following our new road trip. So we've enjoyed a couple of days here in Taranaki, but today we are headed over to the Manawatu Wanganui region where we are going to be visiting the Southern Hemisphere's only public underground elevator. Yeah, I'm really excited because after that we're going to hit up a really amazing Airbnb that I found yes. that's a little yellow submarine, but it's on land. In a redwoods forest. <laughs> yeah, super excited about it. Shall we go? Let's do it. Two and a half hours later and we've made our way here to Wanganui. Yeah, we are just going to get some food first. <laughs> I think we can see our spot already. Yes. It's called... The Blend uh, Cafe and Fusion Restaurant. Immediate impression of Wanganui is a, it's a very nice town area. It is. It's, there's lots of flowers hanging about here. Yeah, we've it's heard that there's too. quite a lot of street art too. So Hopefully we're gonna... we'll see some along the way. Yep. <laughs> So since it is a fusion restaurant, I decided to go for the teriyaki chicken. And here you can see we've got some like waffle fries and a spring roll, but as well as the teriyaki of course and the salad that you would normally expect to come with this. So let's just get right into the chicken. It's really nice and hot. The food also came out very quickly, which was awesome. Same with our drinks. Uh, yeah, it's a very sweet teriyaki sauce. It's a little runny. Try one of these chips too. Dunk it in some tomato sauce. Can you hear the crunch? <laughs> it's really cool. I don't think I've had these types of chips before with the crisscrosses on them. But it's very potato-y, which is nice. Very crispy. I got the avocado and bacon on bread. Got some bacon. Gonna get a big piece of avo. Mm, the bacon is nice. A little bit crispy, but I got a bit of a fatty part as well, so that was very really tasty, especially with that salt coming through, and then you've got the avocado to balance it out with the creaminess. Mm -hmm. I like the hollandaise sauce. It has some spice on it, which is a little bit different, and I enjoyed it. Feels good to have refueled, doesn't it? Yeah, I did. I definitely needed that recharge. Yeah, so we are going to also be visiting the War Memorial Tower as well, but right now we're headed over to the Eyesight Centre, because I think that's where the elevator's entrance is. Oh, is it? I think so. so okay, cool. We're going to go check it out anyway. <laughs> I were on our way to the eyesight center, but we got a bit distracted with all these murals over here, which yeah. is what Wanganui is famous for. So it's got a really nice vibe, this entire town, because there's a lot of these old art deco buildings, plus the art galleries, and of mm. course you got these murals. Right over there, you can already see the Jewelry Tower, which is where we're going to go up to. Yeah. Yes, so uh, looking forward to it. We're on our way back to the eyesight now. So we've just checked out the eyesight center and talked to the nice lady over there and we actually need to get a bit closer over the bridge that way in order to get up the elevator. So my mistake wasn't right next to the eyesight <laughs> center but it is close by. into the tunnel. It is noticeably much colder in here. So this tunnel is 230 meters long and then we are going to reach the end where the elevator is and it will be 66 meters up. The elevator was opened in 1919 as well. Oh, there's some facts here and it's very echoey in here. Super echoey. <laughs> <laughs> to ride the elevator per adult or one dollar for children and we run up 66 meters is that we do. Yeah. <laughs> so as soon as you step outside you can see the war memorial tower but where we're going to be going is up these black spiral staircase to get a view from the top of this elevator section 
it was a pretty cool ride, eh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. About, uh, like oh, nostalgic, well. even though we've never been there. Okay. <laughs> it was cool to see all the different history, um, the photos and all that, and just how old the elevator is, but still operating just fine. The view's already looking pretty awesome from here, so I'm excited to show you guys what it's going to look like from the top. Real sweet view of Wanganui right behind us. The river running right through the middle. And yeah, I'm glad we didn't have to make uh, an entire walk all the way up here. It would have taken quite a while. But we do still have the other stairs that we're going up. That's okay. Only 175, was it? 176. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> This tower was built as a memorial to the 513 young men who unfortunately died in World War I. It is made from something called shell rock, which is said to be around 2 million years old. And it does feel really interesting. It's super interesting. Yeah. It feels like it's ancient. Very sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this climb then, huh? Oh, look at this poser <laughs> over here. <laughs> what are you up to, huh? Well, that took about five minutes, I would say, from the bottom to the top. I can't hold that pose any longer. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here it is caged up, but there are lots of love locks, I would say. That's what you call these things here. Yeah. You know, where couples write their names, put it on, and throw away the keys. <laughs> Everlasting love. I feel like uh, this is a tower that Rapunzel would have stayed at and thrown down her hair for the prince. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that that walk was so much easier than we anticipated. Yeah, it was way easier. <laughs> and we're going to go check out a bit more of the art around the town before we head over to our Airbnb, that yellow submarine. <laughs> Mateys, welcome to my sea rig. This is probably the most excited I've ever been. I've just been inside the Airbnb. It is freaking amazing. Okay, the whole journey starts with this exciting lever over here. I've never been on a submarine, always wanted to since a kid, and that literally feels like what it probably would feel like to open a submarine hatch. I don't know, but yeah, step in this way. Welcome inside our Airbnb for the next two nights. This place is absolutely amazing. It literally feels like you're inside a submarine here, but with all working appliances, we have got a sink beautifully decorated like a submarine or some kind of ship sink. We did have a little, it was so cool when we came inside because this thing was playing you those submarine vibes. <laughs> yeah, the submarine vibes. You got your parrot behind you? Oh yes, yes. We've got our <laughs> cute little parrot over here. And uh, you've got all this really cool decorative stuff like this brass sea helmet over here too. Yeah. And uh, we've only explored some of the great cool stuff. But I want to show you guys the rooms first. So this is the bunks. We've got the top bunk and of course the bottom bunk. So it can sleep four people, I reckon. And yeah, everywhere you look, there's really nice details too, like these little hatchets where you can look outside. There's a bathroom back here. It's quite small. Yes. But at the end of the submarine, there is a fully working toilet and a shower. Like, it's small, but that's cool. Cause that's probably what it's like on a real submarine. <laughs> and it gets plenty of light in here too. Okay, but. There's the toilet. Yeah, and I know. There's the shower there. <laughs> We're getting very, very close in here now. Yes, very close. And I might seem very excited and I am because I haven't even shown you guys the best part. Captain's log, 12, one. 2021. We've been at sea for over three months now, trying to find land. But in this waterlocked world, 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I've, okay, so this place does really open up the imagination actually being living inside a submarine. And that's what I find super cool about this Airbnb. It's more than just a place to sleep, it's an experience. There's no room inside this entire accommodation more than this captain's tower that makes you feel like that. There's a steering wheel, which you can actually spin. And then of course you've got the seat that makes you feel like a captain in the submarine, looking out on all the different sides. It's just super cool. The accommodation also comes with breakfast, so you can get some cereals, as well as in the fridge, there's some yogurt, as well as fresh milk, which is great. Yes, and, and who is your friend? Uh, yeah, so there is a Beatles theme also in here, and uh, that's why I think this yellow submarine thing name came from. Got this mannequin here. John Lennon? John Lennon with the little yellow submarine <laughs> badge over here. So if you're looking to book this place, it will cost you around about 200-ish per night. And we got it for Airbnb, which we'll leave in the description down below in case you're looking to rent out this place as well. The one thing to note though is that you are fully off the grid here, which means no Wi-Fi or internet. And I read somewhere that the owner built this entire thing himself out of an old fiberglass silo, which is crazy. Yeah, that's right. He made this entire yellow submarine from scratch. That is incredible. If you're coming here, it's only a 30 minute drive away from Whanganui. And we hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us today as we wandered around Whanganui. Next week for you guys, we'll be heading over to Taupo. We've got some exciting things planned, but in the meantime, if you like this video don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button drop us a comment we love hearing from you and we'll catch you guys next, next time. time see you <laughs>